Hello, welcome to 9design 3D. We will start a new series about the character modeling with base meshes. Our first part will be about the character modeling with a quick and easy method. Let's go to the tutorial. First, we will start with adding our reference images. You can find a link in description to download them. I will give a drive link on here. First, add your body reference image and after that, match your head reference image with it. Add them to a collection and click selectable. Add a plane, scale and place it near of the nose. In tap to edit mode, E to extrude your side vertices around the mouth hole. From the front view, you can choose your vertices and with the side view, place them around your character head. With Ctrl-1 add subdivision modifier and add mirror modifier, don't forget to check clipping. For eyes, add mesh circle with the segments 14, place it near of the eye and you to move your vertices for matching reference image. With the same method, use your sum vertices from the front view and with the side view Fit them. Select outer edge lines with Alt, E to extrude, right click and S to scale and make same thing again. Shade smooth, add mirror modifier as an object, choose your mouth round. Ctrl J to join them all together and select your vertices and have to fill. From the bottom part of the chin, E to extrude your edges. With the Ctrl right click, you can add another vertices and choose four vertex and have to fill. With the side and front view, select your vertices and E to extrude around the forehead. You can split some vertex or edges with V, G to move I vertices in X axis. Again, with Ctrl right click, you can add you can add another vertex on it, and have to fill your fourth vertices for filling the cheek area. If it's become a triangle, you can dissolve edges with X. For the mouth, add circle with vertices 14. As to scale, place around the character image. Select all E to X root, right click and as to scale. Delete half of it. Shade smooth and add mirror modifier with checking clipping. G to move your vertices for Z to wireframe. With the side view, you can check your vertices like that. Again, select inner edge line and E to extrude, right click as to scale. E to extrude, upper lips. If it's not enough, you can add another loop cast to your mouth with Ctrl R. Select inner edge line and E to extrude in Y axis. Choose four vertices, F to fill, and select side of it and press F to fill again. Give your lip shape to your character. You can choose outer line and as to scale. Ctrl J to join them together. If it's not matching about to mirror modify its look weird, 
you can select your edge line and you to move in x-axis. When you try to merge, if it's act bad, the face orientation and shift N, recalculate your normals. Merge at center, some vertices. You can hide your throat with H. Choose some of vertices, right click and smooth vertices. Select your four vertices and have to fill. With again the control right click. You can add another vertex line. Select four of it. And have to fill for filling cheek and forehead area. We will continue to make same thing. If your edge line is not enough, you can add some loop cuts to your forehead line. Don't forget to check side view and front view your character. If it's become a triangulate, you can add another loop cut or with Ctrl R as I said. You can add another vertex line like that. Our forehead is ready. You can smooth your vertices and scale. For sliding some edge lines, you can G press twice. In scalp mode, with the grab tool, you can move some part of it and tidy up. For matching your reference image face proportion. We we'll make same thing with the four vertex F to fill with the control right click, create new edge lines with vertex in the side view. Don't forget to check it. You can give some shape to your noise if you want. You can make it right, wider. For eyelid, choose your vertex line. Inner of the eye, E to extrude in Y axis and S to scale. For nose, add another loop cut with Ctrl R. Select faces and X to delete faces. Scale, E to extrude in Z axis and add another loop cut, middle of your nose. Let's add some eye and mesh the eyelid, add UV sphere, scale and place. Select some vertex and go to transform. You can increase your mean crease value for given eyelid shape for it. Select some vertices and need to extrude around the ear part. Choose four of it. With the numpad 7, go to top view, E to extrude, and G to move your sides. With the same method, with Ctrl right click, you can add and other edge lines and have to fill them. If it's become a triangulate, you can add and other loop cuts on it and calculate again. And don't forget to right click smooth vertices. Z to wireframe and front view, tidy up your vertex. With the top view, E to extrude and G to move.
Select middle of the top head, vertices, and E to extrude from the back. Choose the vertices and have to fill. With the same method, we will continue to make it. Control right click and add new edge lines and have to fill near of it. Make same thing for the head side part. From bottom to top, make same thing for the sides. There will be a quad, it's not important. Add another loop cut to the forehead and have to fill them. Now you can right click and smooth your vertices. With the proportional edit in tab to edit mode with O, you can match your reference image. For the neck, Choose your vertices from the side view and E to extrude to the back. With the control right click, continue to have to fill your neck area. E to extrude your edge line and scale a bit. Our neck part is ready. For the ear, we will add new reference topology image. As to scale, match with your side view reference image. Uncheck the editable and decrease opacity. For this, add a plane. In tab to edit mode, select all vertices. M collapse G to move your vertex and start to E to extrude for your ears alter edge line and F to fill K for the knife tool cut your inner part of the ears edge lines I'm not making any extra thing because I speed up in here I am cutting for all the edge lines with the following reference image. Choose your outer face line and E to extrude in X axis. Make same thing for the inner part of it. E to extrude your faces. Control 1 to add subdivision surface modifier. You can uncheck the render and tidy up it in block shape. When you want, you can add another cut. G to move some part of it and E to extrude inside. It will be a cartoon ear. I make it like that. Choose your inner edge line and E to extrude again. Ctrl J to join them with your ears and head. Rotate in Z axis. Check the face orientation and Shift N for the recalculate normals. Choose your edge lines with Alt and Alt Shift. Right click loop tool bridge. Our base mesh head is ready. See you later in second part.